Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Techshot87. Uh, today I'm going to do a little review on a cool little revolver. Um, this is this a off duty 38 special by Charter Arms. Uh, neat little gun, and uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of history on it. Not too much. They have been around for a long time, and some things definitely worth noting. So, uh, let's get right into it and uh, talk about this thing. So, uh, Charter Arms has been around since 1964, and a guy named Douglas McClanahan actually started the company. Uh, so no big deal, right? Just a guy starting another gun company. But this guy was no fly-by-night guy. Um, he had actually worked for Colt, Ruger, High Standard, Sturm. Uh, yeah, so this guy knew what he was doing. He branched off, did his own thing, and came up with Charter Arms. The first pistol they came out with was the Undercover 38 Special 5-Shot Revolver. Uh, the, the Undercover, which they actually still still sell and they still sell the Off-Duty, uh, the Undercover and the Off-Duty are basically the same gun except the Off-Duty had a cheaper finish on it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, they offered this gun in a flat black and stainless. And the only way that I could tell, um, you know, when the gun was actually made, the only way I think you can even tell is by the stamping on the right side of the gun. You can see right there it says Charter Arms, uh, Stratford, Connecticut. So from what I gather, this is like 84, 85 model. Um, if you look, if you have one of these and you look and you see, uh, and you're looking at the address, that can actually tell you about when the gun was made. Because they've switched uh, different different manufacturing plants in, in Connecticut and that kind of thing. So just check that out if you have one. If you have one that has no markings over here, then um, apparently that's one of the three, first 3,000 ever made. So just keep that in mind. So this one is a little bit older. But like I said, they still do carry these guns. They still have a website. Uh, they actually have a few really, really cool guns. Um, they make them without the, uh, with the internal hammer. They have some with a bunch of different cool little designs on them. They make a nine millimeter version uh, called the Pitbull, and it's in a it's a four, and they make it in forty caliber as well. So they have a lot of cool things going on. Um, they have had some troubles in the past with bankruptcy and changing names and selling to this company, you know that kind of stuff. But it looks like they've got it back together. Um, the quality control in the past sometimes wasn't that great. Like I said, right now, it uh, looks like they're doing a pretty good job. Uh, customer service is uh, top notch and they are made right here in the USA. So, very nice little revolver for concealed carry, uh, especially the internal hammer models. Uh, so you don't, you don't have any snagging issues, you know, that whole thing. The other thing handles the uh, recoil of the 38, you know, pretty well. So. Uh, a lot of cool things with the gun, and they are relatively inexpensive, which, you know, is always a good thing, in my opinion, with the kind of uh, warranty they have, customer service, and they're in the three to $400 range, depending on, you know, which, which model you want to get. Like I said, the off-duty, undercover, they have one called the Undercoverette, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. So, uh, go check them out. Like I said, we're going to kick it out right here, and um, we'll be right back to talk to you. Try double action and then go to single action. First shots with it, not too bad. Um, handles the recoil pretty well. I mean, it's a 38 special, but uh, handles it pretty well. Um, 
out to five yards is what we were shooting, so. I'm definitely shooting high with it, um, but definitely, I mean, you know, it is kind of all over the place. Um, handles the recoil pretty good. The sights, the sights really do suck, but uh, I think it shoots pretty well. We'll let Jen try it. and. Uh, That's actually three. I think I went three or yeah, one year. Yeah, four. So, must be a woman thing. They're uh, definitely more steady, but. That's pretty good. Pretty good. For the head, I went way up here with it. So we got one more in the bullseye there, and a couple right there. In the head. Okay. And one in the head. One to the dome, three to the chest. So. Alright, so this is definitely, I'd, I'd say definitely out of the practical act little gun can do. I'm gonna aim at the head just to see uh, how it does out to uh, 10 yards. We got one more round left. Um, So as you can see with the uh, little charter arms, I'm not a uh, exactly a bullseye shooter, but it gets the job done. A uh, little shot, little headshot right there at the end of the video. Um, I think it was about what 15 yards or something like that. And I took the shot in double action, and you know I, I grazed the dude's head, so he would have still been hurting me. What I'm trying to get at is the gun, you know, for what it's made for. Um, is definitely, you know, reliable enough, accurate enough if you do your part with it. Uh, the double action is a little bit, uh, yeah, 
I can't throw you off a little bit. The single action on it is great though. So, um, I like the capability of being able to go between double and single action. You know, I like that a lot. So, um, the gun is, uh, the guns is a very nice gun. I think it's a well-built gun. Like I said, this is one of the older models, um, but even if you buy a newer one, it looks like they've got the quality control and everything pretty much uh, pretty much under wraps. So they're they stand behind their warranties, from what I gather. Um, I actually talk a lot of these companies. I will talk to and just see how they react. And I actually call Charter Arms just to see what you know, just to talk to them. Um, and the guys were great. So. You know, I, I really like them. Um, I think, uh, you know, one of these, um, I think I might be picking up one. Uh, this is not my gun, but like I said, I might be picking one up uh, because I really do like it. And it's light, um, it's small, and it's very shootable. Very fun to shoot, too. So that's a big thing as well. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you all the likes and subscribers that we've picked up. Uh, that really, really means a lot. Uh, if the video, if you like the video, just drop us a like and uh, make sure you're subscribed. We have another cool, very old gun coming in the next couple days, so make sure you uh, check that out. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.